I knew this concept academically and taught all of this to my students. But this concept was brought home to me in a more personal way when I once went out to eat in Cuernavaca. I had been in Cuernavaca for about five weeks and had already enjoyed most of the local dining fare. On this particular night, I decided that I wanted to see what a Mexican version of an American food chain was like. So I broke with my normal dining habits and entered the fast food restaurant. I went to Cuernavaca's Domino's Pizza and carefully considered the menu. After meticulous pre-planning and rehearsal, I rather proficiently ordered my pizza in Spanish and correctly and confidently discussed the types of crust and various ingredients that went into the pizza. The server and I seemed to fully understand each other, and when the conversation was complete, I breathed a quiet sigh of relief and began to turn from the counter to go find a seat. It was then that my server caught me with one more question, unexpectedly asking, su nombre? Now, my Spanish skills were weak, but even I knew the Spanish word nombre. It was one of the first words you learn in Spanish, a classic part of the phrase, qual es su nombre, what is your name? As linguist Noam Chomsky would put it, my language competence in Spanish certainly included the knowledge that nombre meant name. But my language performance failed in that unguarded moment at the end of a day that had been somewhat taxing, tiring. The context had conspired against me as well, since in my hometown back in the States, one of the last questions that my servers asked to complete my order at Domino's is, your number? <laughs> Presumably wanting my telephone number for their record. <laughs> number, nombre, close enough for a tired, hungry scholastic <laughs> who was not a seasoned speaker of the language to make a mistake. I did not know my telephone number to the, for the house where I was staying in Cuernavaca, <laughs> so I answered, no tengo un nombre. <laughs> I don't have a name. The young woman stared oddly at me <laughs> and then walked away. And when my pizza was ready, the woman called out from behind the counter, El hombre sin nombre, a man without a name. <laughs> Embarrassed to be the nameless man, I nonetheless collected my pizza and sheepishly thanked the service. <laughs>